Forty years ago, at the height of the Cold War, a group of military scientists created Formula X. Its purpose, to turn any individual into an unnaturally strong super soldier. The project failed. Today, the bunker that was home to these mysterious experiments and the last remaining samples of Formula X lies sealed and hidden. Its location, unknown. Heaven forbid anyone should ever open that bunker and learn of the secrets contained within. Heaven forbid anyone should discover Operation Overkill. How will you fucking do this to me? Hold still, please. This is a very delicate procedure. You can't! So how are we gonna do this? I figured we'd kill every motherfucker who stands in our way. For a change. Works so far, I guess. Ready? Born ready. This is doing nothing for my elevator phobia.
dead. of a fire, our chance of affecting a rapid escape is pretty limited. Oh, come on, man. Will you shut the fuck up? I think this elevator has structural issues. Not again! Jump! Jump! <laughs> that was a close call. <laughs> Six shit. Ah! <laughs> 
Ten of them, one of him. Don't feel too bad. You can be one cold motherfucker at times. Why don't we come in here? Shut up and figure a way out of this. The shaft. Go. Now. Motherfucker nearly had me. Shit. You ever feel like dialing down the cursing wash? Fuck that, motherfucker. must be 30 years old, they can't still be alone. Varla. She's right here, boys. Varla? Are you okay? Better than okay. I've never felt so turned on in my life. Say what? Don't worry, detective. Everybody will have their chance to have a go. Nobody's having a go with anybody. Stay behind me, Varla. Grab your gun, not your dick. Clement! Did I call for you? Go to your room. Can't you just one time in your life show your son a little fucking gratitude? And try to act your age. Don't you ever talk to your mother like that. Sorry, mommy. That's better. Oh my fucking- What have you done? I should think that's pretty self-explanatory. Your friend is in that jar over there. She's alive, too. What's left of her. Then your stock just fucking crashed! I love you, Mom. Mom? I don't understand! The formula should have worked! Say night night to mommy, asshole. No! Ah! And I'm 
think it's past your fucking bedtime, young man. Mommy! I guess this is it. It's certainly been an adventure. You want to do the honors? Varla, this is for you. How we survived that, I don't know. Hey, if we hadn't found these mini guns just lying around, we'd be fucking dead for sure. I'm just glad Varla got the justice she deserved. So, what do you plan to do with your life now, Isaac? Well, I figured as soon as I got home, I'd go pay my respects to my old man. And then? And then Washington's going to fucking Vegas, baby! She's still fucking alive, ain't she? Appears that way. You got anything clever to say? I'm at somewhat of a loss. Then let's just make this look fucking cool. That is one angry bitch. Aim for the brain.
alone. I can't go on in a world without my mommy. In a world that would never accept him. You're fucking right there. A cornered animal. I advise you, don't. This is a dead man switch. With nothing to live for. Kill me, and the self-destruct for the lab beneath us goes off. This whole prison will be leveled. Then what do you want? Sought only redemption. I want to undo all the wrongs I have done. I want to return to the womb. Please, just this one last thing. You fucking handle this freak show. I need to sit down. When revenge seemed the only option. You've broken a hundred laws. You're responsible for the deaths of countless thousands. You threatened the safety of every man, woman, and child on this planet. And you put our friend's brain in a jar! I have a lot to atone for. By returning to the womb? That's right. A final noble act. Give me that. Thank you. Was all that was needed. Don't fucking thank him. Soon as we're in the helicopter out of here, I'm chucking that thing out the fucking window. Then I can die happy. Goodbye, boys. Did you not find this all slightly ironic? I fucking ironic? Yeah. Ironic, you know, when something occurs after you. I know what ironic means, motherfucker. You see, you did it again. Throughout this whole episode, you've been motherfucking everything. That's my thing. That's how I fucking speak. Yeah, but there we were, face to face with the real motherfucker. Huh? Clement more than likely fucked his mother. And not once, not once did you call him motherfucker. When indeed he was, most probably a real motherfucker. So what does that tell you? I don't fucking know. It means you don't fucking mean what you fucking say. It's all shit. Say what, motherfucker? See, you're doing it fucking again. You like me. Deep down through all your fuckisms, you really like me. I'm the fucking nearest fucking thing you've ever had to a fucking friend. Don't fucking do this to me, man. Wrong fucking place, wrong... Go on, go on, say it. Say the fuck what? Say you like me. Get the fuck out of my space. Never repeat fucking talk of that shit again. Or what? I don't fucking know what. That's fucking what. Okay, man, okay. We made progress here. You did good. When we're back home, I am going to get myself a car, play my country music, and if you want to ride back to where the fuck ever you live, you are motherfucking welcome. Fuck you. So that's a yes then. Can I drive? Yeah, fuck you. Washington is washing off on you. Bottle guns, if you can hear me, I'd like you to know I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Now that just ain't right. I think if we've learned anything from today, it's that love ain't always right. Hey, I love my old man. You saying that ain't right? Well... And your fiancé saying that jaw there loved her brother. I was just making an observation. Frankly, Casanova, I'd be more worried about reading the past 12 hours as a damning fucking indictment of contemporary feminism. Big pardon? I just think two dick-wielding cop cliches taking down a hundred-foot earthen mother is a statement fairly limited in its interpretations. I'm not sure you can read too much into that. Not to mention, the strongest female role model in this whole affair ain't much more than a gherkin in a pickle jar. Washington. They had met as adversaries. What the fuck is it? They had fought as allies. I love you, man. Oh, shut the fuck up. But to their enemies. And you? One-way ticket to motherfucking Vegas, baby. They were righteous motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>